Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to move the progress bar um, in Drop Zone JS. Basically, came across this question here on Stack Overflow by John H., who is running to this problem um, where because he's setting the auto process queue to false, whenever those files in the Drop Zone are in queue, the progress bar is covering up the file name. Um, so I decided to tackle that. And actually, thank you, John, because I've been looking for a good. Uh, drop zone type of thing and didn't know that drop zone JS existed. So um, I'm actually gonna be able to use it in my project. But anyways, so as you can see here, it does work. Uh, the best way I found to do it is actually by editing the CSS. Um, so these are the settings I ended up, we'll just yeet these out of here for right now. And we will refresh, that way we've got it fresh. There we go. So right now we just have your basic drop zone where it's instantiating it right here um, and setting the auto process queue to false. That's key to the issue that John was running into. Um, and we'll get rid of our CSS. And then we're just pulling in the, where we are here, the CSS for drop zone JS, the actual JS library. And then we're just creating the, the drop zone element with the migrate drop zone class or I, using migrate drop zone as the ID, which of course is converted to camel case down here because of how drop zone JS works. Anyways, moving on. Um, so as we can see here, whenever we upload an image by default, the progress bar is over top of the image. Um, so pulling up the dev tools, we're able to see that it actually has a class of DZ progress, which has some basic face out of the way has this drop zone DZ progress class, which which shows that the positioning is absolute with 50% from the left and 50% from the top. And so if we just go ahead and set top to, we don't wanna set the opacity, we wanna set the top to 115%. You can see here that we can't see anything because the progress bar background is white and we're on a white canvas. So just so we can actually see how that's working here. Um, and change the background color. Uh, probably would leave that to white if you want to use whatever you want to do anyways. So to actually integrate that into our app, we're gonna to need to copy that selector, paste it over here, and then we're going to go ahead and set that, what was it, top to 115%, and we're going to mark it important. And then just so that we can actually say that it's working, let's go ahead and set that background as well. RGB A, and we'll do zero, zero, 255, 90%. And we'll also set that to important. We'll save. So we got blue progress bar. And if we get out of the tools here, we're gonna refresh. That way we make sure everything is actually stored there. And let's go ahead and drag some images. So that's a picture of my desktop that I uploaded to Twitter the other day. Here's SpaceX and everything's working as uh, as we'd expect. Hopefully that helps John. Um, if it does, please mark the answer uh, answered, I guess. And then um, as always, if you guys found this video helpful, please subscribe on YouTube and follow me on Twitter where I, um, for the most part, just talk about dev life um, as well as the occasional programming joke. Later.